The Culver City Planning Commission met on October 14 and discussed ways to decrease the number of cars moving about city streets. The goal is to lower carbon emissions and fight climate change. Although claiming to fight climate change, it is the developers who benefit at the expense of those who want to drive their private cars around the city and not ride bicycles. In reality, increasing density while reducing parking will create more parking problems on city streets and in parking garages. One idea is to reduce the minimum number of required parking spaces in new development. Another idea is to eliminate parking minimums entirely. Another idea would be to impose parking maximums in new buildings and charging fees for surplus parking, more density but less parking. A third idea is to allow parking reductions of up to 40% if a building provides other mobility improvements. There are 14 of these options. Five will be covered here and the other nine will be in my next two videos. Option 1. Providing on-site car share parking would allow a parking reduction of up to 25%. Car share companies like Evo have struggled and Zipcar went out of business. Car shares tend to be expensive and involve a three-day minimum. In West Los Angeles, 80% or more of available cars are Teslas. For three days, that amounts to $384. Option 2. 15% reduction in required parking spaces if there is on-site ride share, as in carpool or van pool designated parking, and the building would need to provide a ride share matching service. Option 3 gives up to a 30% parking reduction if there is on-site parking for ride hail services such as Uber or Lyft. However, Uber and Lyft have become increasingly expensive and there is now evidence that they actually increase congestion. Option 4 provides a 10% parking reduction if the building is located within 1,000 feet or almost a quarter mile from city-sponsored bike shares or the building could provide on-site bike share including e-cargo bikes. Option 5 is a 15% reduction when the building provides surplus bicycle parking. However, bicycle theft is increasingly common in Culver City. In broad daylight, this man stole the front wheel of this bicycle parked in front of the Queen Bee on September 30th. Watch for my next video, which will look at other ideas discussed by the Planning Commission.